hours and 15 minutes flight from Copenhagen to Reykjavik, Iceland is the most unusual one for me. The spectacular scenes uh, witnessed from high up the sky took my breath away. Around 2 a.m. Iceland time, we arrived at Reykjavik or Kofrabi airport. It was still pretty bright. As it is summer now in Iceland, so usually daylight is long and night time is short. It took us around 2 hours to settle down our car rental episode before taking off to explore the area. The first stunned me is in uh, is the landscape of Iceland. It is almost barren, I guess, with so many volcanoes. Iceland is full of volcanic ashes, and the uh, remains are lava. It is indeed very unique compared to other countries. Then um, these gazes stop up, uh, stop us up, and we want to go inside and explore. To my excitement and uh, astonishment, it was huge, and I had not encountered one like this before in my life. With the beautiful nighttime sky, with uh, it is almost like December evening sky, there were hardly anyone around during this time. So me and my husband decided to skip a night without a hotel just to explore the places. The nearby sceneries were all amazing as I had just stepped out of the plane and I thought I would feel tired but all these extraordinary landscapes just woke me up instantly. As we drove up further, our state lights break through completely. The uh, actual landscape unfolding in front of my eyes as clear as uh, it can be. It is equally stunning. Then we have a bit of drone exploration near the field of Rubin. Next, we went and explored the beautiful waterfall. Uh, it is called the Gulf Falls, and I think I have seen so many small, small waterfalls after I have passed through um, the area and the landscape was stunning. There are big, big and small, small waterfall everywhere. So there are so many waterfalls actually in Iceland, all amazing, all unique in its own style and its own way. It is nearly towards the end of the day and uh, we have been not sleeping for as long as 24 hours so our body were tired and um, still uh, one more two more destinations actually so the next one uh, we're going to see the geyser land of geysers
geyser, sometimes known as a great geyser. Here I witnessed the most extraordinary geysers, big and small. Some we waited for more than half an hour just to see it explode out of the ground. Stunning. Ping Valley is a site of historical, cultural, and geological significance. It divides United States and Europe. Ping Valley meaning Pink Valley. Okay, that sums up all of my day one episode of um, Iceland Exploration. I will see you very soon and thank you for watching.